The House of Representatives Tuesday at Plenary unanimously adopted over seven motions of urgent national importance related to the coronavirus pandemic. One of these motions was the decision by the Northern Governors Forum to evacuate the Amajires to their state of origin at a time the country is battling with COVID-19. Representative Aisha Duku wants the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 to enforce the interstate travel ban announced by President Buhari, as the lawmakers also called on the governors of the northern states to integrate the Almajiri children into the universal basic and technical education system. It is concerned that the evacuation of the children is against their fundamental human rights of residing anywhere in Nigeria as guaranteed in Chapter 4 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The evacuation of the children is in violation of the interstate travel ban currently enforced by the government. The Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management is also urged to include these children in the category of less privilege for beneficiaries of palliatives. The Federal Minister of Health examined the health conditions of the unmarried children. See, urged the Northern Governors Forum to resign their decision on banning unmarried system of education until those already in the system are provided for in the universal basic education and technical education system. In another motion by Representative Blessing Onu from Benue State, it is for the House to intervene in the quarantine of a UK returnee, Susan Ukbe, calling for the National Centre for Disease Control through the Federal Ministry of Health to critically evaluate the case of Mrs. Susan Idoku Ukbe. Furthermore, the personal information on the laboratory results from the National Centre for Disease Control did not also tally we have personal details. In a related development, the House is calling to put an end to human rights abuse and extrajudicial killings by security operatives in the enforcement of COVID-19 lockdown. The motion sponsored by Representative Nkiruka Onyejocha cited incidences of Nigerians being brutalized, killed by security operatives. Of the 18 deaths the Nigerian Correctional Services was responsible for eight. Nigerian police force was responsible for seven. The Nigerian army was responsible for two. While the Ebony tax, the Ebony state tax force on COVID-19, our people, South local government was responsible for one. Chloe Kiba Co. TV News, Abuja.